Hi and welcome back to Break 100 Golf, I'm John. You're going to love today's video because I'm going to go through the top 10 features in GS Pro in my opinion. Let's get right into it. Get up there, get up there, get up there! Nice! Number 10. It has the ability to be played in 4K. So if your computer is capable of 4K and your projector or TV, however you're doing it, is capable, you can do it. That's gonna hold the fairway well. Nice. Number nine, it has a custom skills test. As of when I made this video, this is a newer feature in GS Pro. It was a standard skills test and this is more customizable. Uh, I do love this feature and I'm able to help to dial my clubs in, especially for shorter clubs. Like I don't always do well under 120 yards. So using that to help dial in, getting it to land where I want it to on the green or in the circle, in this case on the custom skills test, it's a really nice feature. The contour of the green is going right to left, so I need to really just kind of tap it. Just tap it in, just give it a little tappy tap 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 -a -roo. Number eight, mouse play. So you can play GS Pro with your mouse, and it's really nice, I mean, if you work from home and you want to take a break and play nine holes, whatever, you can do that in you know 15 minutes with the mouse. It's a little tricky at first, but really the great thing about it is, if you play online tournaments, you can scout the golf course and play with the mouse, you know, to test water hazards or dog legs or just difficult holes or maybe something that's really elevated. You know, I had a, a hole that was, <laughs> I think it was about 60 feet up, you know, and I hit my six iron, you know, 230, 240 yards easily. So you really have to figure out just exactly, and that was a real hole. I can't remember the golf course, but you know, it's a really nice feature to be able to test a golf course. So going into that, number seven, you can play online tournaments. So you have online competition. So I currently play in the SGT or the Simulator Golf Tour. Uh, that is going to show up in GS Pro once you register and you put your custom number in, uh, your ID number that you get from SGT. And it's just a lot of fun and, and it helps to, I think it helps honestly, because like when I played in my league this year, there are times where you're sitting at the tee and you're one of the first groups out, you know, and there's 30 dudes standing there waiting for you to tee off first. It's a little nerve wracking sometimes. All right, get in the hole. Not quite. Number six, it has fully customizable data fields. So. I'm gonna put that graphic up on the screen of the ones that are available. So you can put a total of 12, six to the right, six to the left, whatever you wanna do, like angle of attack, launch angle, spin rate, ball speed, all those good things. Number five, the driving range. The driving range is excellent. You can dial it in down to the yard or the meter, however way you want to put that circle exactly where you want. So if you want to, you know, play your nine iron at 145, okay, you can enter that at 145. And if you want to stretch it, you want to stretch it to 150, you can stretch it to 150. Everything is fully customizable. And also here's a flyover of the driving range. It's awesome. Number four, on course practice. This is great. So GS Pro has a lot of golf courses. And if you wanna play anywhere on any of the holes in their catalog, you can go in there, drop the ball there, and you can hit it over and over and over and over again. So if you're having trouble doing bunker shots, which initially when you start playing on a golf simulator, 
It is not easy. You got to figure it all out. So you can drop that ball in the bunker and hit it over and over and over again. Or if you want to play a specific tee or if you want to go to Pebble Beach and play a specific hole because you're hitting over water and practice that, you can practice that same hole over and over and over again. As soon as you hit it and the ball stops, it resets. It's absolutely fantastic. And then you can move the ball and go somewhere else. Hopefully that holds the fairway. Come on. Number three, GS Pro has ultra realistic ball physics and it is very accurate. I have dialed my clubs in, all of them in my bag, and I've taken some clubs out of my bag based on how I perform with those clubs. It's gonna tell me if I get too much side spin, you know, if I can't be accurate with my two iron, who cares if you can hit it 235 yards if you're all over the place with it, or if it's really, really difficult to hit, which I got rid of it and I found that I'm a lot better with a hybrid much better as most people are and it's a lot easier to get the ball up in the air it's a lot easier to swing longer irons are difficult for a lot of people me included right in the bunker number two gs pro is open api that is absolutely fantastic so there are over 500 user created golf courses because the software is open API and also launch monitors. So launch monitors like the Garmin R10, which is five or $600 or the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro, which I believe is at $700 right now, 699. There are connectors, Bluetooth connectors that you can connect to your PC so that you can use this software. You know, they, they make the software so that it is fully customizable. So if there is a launch monitor out there, it's a possibility that you may be able to get a connector for it if it's not officially supported. Stop, 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 stop. Nice shot. Number one, I talked about the open API, but there is a huge catalog of supported launch monitors. I'll put that graphic up on the screen. The ones on the left are the ones that are supported and you'll notice that I put the Garmin R10 and the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro on there as well because it's possible to connect to them using a free connector app. So that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content today. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed the content and share it with your friends who may be interested in GS Pro. As always, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and turn on notifications so that you're notified when I release future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.